Now in this video we will study the trigeminal nerve or the cranial nerve fifth. This is the largest cranial nerve. Coming to the introduction, the trigeminal nerve it arises from four nuclei. Three of these nuclei are the sensory nuclei and one is the motor nucleus. Now these four nuclei combine and give rise to three branches the V1 or the ophthalmic branch the V2 or the maxillary branch and the V3 or the mandibular branch. Uh, the ophthalmic and the maxillary are purely sensory and uh, the mandibular branch is mixed having both sensory and motor component. Now in the next section of this video we will study how the trigeminal nerve originates and next part of the video we will study the course and the distribution of its branches. Now coming to the origin of the trigeminal nerve, I have drawn two views here. First is the lateral view and second is the transverse section of the bones. Now first coming to the lateral view, the this is the midbrain, this is the pons, this is the medulla and this is the spinal cord, the upper part of the spinal cord. Now the trigeminal nerve arises, I have just mentioned before, from four nuclei, the three of them are sensory and one is the motor nucleus. Now the first nucleus we are going to talk about is the mesencephalic nucleus. Now this is situated in the midbrain and thus known as the mesencephalic and the second nucleus, uh, second sensory nucleus is the principal sensory nucleus which is situated in the pons and the third is the spinal nucleus which is a very long nucleus and situated in the lower part of the medulla and the upper spinal cord. Now the one motor nucleus which is situated in the pons and this is located here. Now these three nuclei, the mesencephalic, the primary sensory nucleus and the spinal nucleus are the afferent nuclei. This is the trigeminal ganglion. So these uh, receive the afferent uh, nerve fibers from the trigeminal ganglion. The, these red fibers, these green fibers and the blue fiber which I have depicted. These are the afferent nuclei, afferent fibers. And this is the motor nucleus and this is an efferent nucleus and this sends these orange fibers which I have shown to the trigeminal ganglion which run through the third division of the trigeminal nerve, the mandibular nerve and supply the muscles of the first parenchial arch. Now this is the transverse section of the pons showing the uh, origin of the trigeminal nerve. Now this, these three are the nuclei of the trigeminal nerve at the level of the pons. Now this is the principal sensory nucleus, this is the mesencephalic nucleus in the middle and this orange is the motor nucleus. Spinal nucleus I have not shown in this section because it is situated in the section of the lower medulla and the upper part of the spinal cord. Now let's look at the course of the trigeminal nerve, its division into its main three branches and then the subsequent distribution on the face. Now as I have mentioned earlier the pons is the site of the origin of the trigeminal nerve. Now this is the main trunk and this is the trigeminal ganglion. Now the trigeminal ganglion is situated in the middle cranial fossa. Now in the temporal bone there is a depression known as the trigeminal cave which is the site for the location of trigeminal ganglion. Now from this trigeminal ganglion the three main branches the ophthalmic, the maxillary and the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve arrives. First let's come to the first division that is the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. Now the ophthalmic division arises in the middle cranial fossa from the trigeminal ganglion. It runs forward and through the superior orbital fissure it exits the cranium and divides into three main branches. Now before exiting through the superior orbital fissure the 
Ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve runs through the lateral wall of the cavernous sinus. The three main branches after exiting the superior orbital fissure are the frontal branch, the nasociliary branch and the lacrimal branch. Now coming to the area of distribution of the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve, the uh, area of distribution is shown in this green part and the frontal branch of the ophthalmic division supplies the forehead, the area of the scalp and also it supplies the frontal and the ethmoidal sinuses. The nasociliary branch it supplies the upper eyelid, the cornea and the dorsum of the nose. Whereas the lacrimal branch which receives the fibers from the pterygopalatine ganglion, it supplies the lacrimal gland. The second division of the trigeminal nerve which arises from the trigeminal ganglion is the maxillary division. Now this branch also runs forward and exits the cranium through the foramen rotundum. Now after exiting through the foramen rotundum, the maxillary branch divides into 14 branches and supplies the middle part of the face. Now this branch also runs through the lateral part of the cavernous sinus. Now, area of distribution of the maxillary branch includes this area which is shown in the pink and after its uh, exit through the foramen rotundum, the maxillary division divides into 14 branches which supply the lower eyelid, the conjunctiva, the skin of the cheek, the maxillary sinus, the nasal cavity, upper lip, the molar incisors and the canine, upper canines and the superior part of the palate. The third division of the trigeminal nerve, the V3, is the mandibular branch. Now this is the only of the three branches which has both motor and the sensory component. Mandibular branch area is shown in this yellow area after its exit through the foramen ovale. The mandibular branch divides into four terminal branches, the buccal branch, inferior alveolar, auriculotemporal and the lingual branch. And the area of distribution includes the mucous membrane of the oral cavity, the external ear, lower lip, the skin of the chin and anterior two-third of the tongue. Now the mandibular branch also has the motor component so it supplies the muscles of the first brachial arch which includes the muscle of the mastication including the temporalis muscle, the lateral and the medial pterygoids, the masseter muscle. It also supplies the tensor tympani in the ear and the tensor villi palatini of the palate. So this was an overview regarding the trigeminal nerve. I hope you find this video informative. Please support our efforts to make more videos by subscribing to this channel and also please leave a thumbs up for this video. Thank you.